the last but not the least one is the movement in snake you you might or might not be observed the snake but snakes are also the living creature which are usually found in the, in the dump areas etc so how they move so for this for learning of this their movement we have to learn their uh, some adaptive features so these are like this first of all you all have see observed that the snake body is very long and as well as um, cylindrical and flexible body it has okay due to which it makes several curves another one is that it has a long and flexible backbone inside the backbone is too long and same similarly the r backbone it is also segmented one so this is present in the center but it is too flexible which allows um, uh, like lot of flexibility due to which the it makes easy curve in its body another one is the strong muscles they it has the whole body is having about around the backbone there are the muscles um, which are connected to the skeleton which helps again for making the loops so another um, the feature is that like that is not the feature but some special thing uh, we will discuss ki if you will see the whole body is cylindrical but without legs it is not having legs but still if you will observe its movement it moves too fast so now the question arises how the snake moves so let's discuss about this one as we have learned in other animals they move by contraction and expansion of their muscles when muscles of one side contract another side will get relaxed the in this way um, due to the contraction and expansion it makes several loops this is the loop this curve this curve so when it contracts and uh, expands its body muscles the muscles of both the sides alternatively curve and they form loops so as many as loops would be formed one loop would be to the right side another would would be the left and then again to the right so this right side and left side loop which are made uh, which are uh, made by the snake body this help to when one side there is the contraction this will push the muscles on the ground and uh, the body will move forward you can see here this side the push on the ground similarly all around there are so inner side there are the loops forming so due to which the like due to these for loop formation the body parts move to the left and the right side at the same time and each side way uh, loop pushes back against the ground and gives the snake a good move or the forward push you can say that and this resultant push of all the loops make it move on the ground uh, very fast children its movement is having getting a special name this um, very movement is giving a special name to that that is known as slither so it slithers on the ground one more thing i want to tell you snakes are usually very much uh, like they are moving fastly on a porous land, uh, surface area if you will uh, observe them on a very plain and smooth area they are not able to move easily the reason is that they are their body muscles are not able to make a fine grip on the ground so uh, that's why in they are uh, moving in rough and porous area so that's all for today beta this is whole around the chapter this is very important chapter keep on revising this one learning this one and uh, read this chapter again for getting more understanding thank you